Uh, my name is Brother uh, Daniel Akomi. I want to bless the name of the Lord for all he has been doing and all he said to do. And for the life of our father, Babani Baba, a true father, friend, brother, coach, mentor, a disciplined but a compassionate one. I met him sometime in 2008 and then he was teaching Abraham. And the teaching actually caught my attention because uh, prior to that time, uh, during the yearly youth uh, convocation at Abulioke, that was precisely 2006, Myself and two other youth went for special prayer and uh, it was said to me that your journey is like that of Abraham. The time is coming, you need to leave your parents' house. Not for anything, but that's how God has ordained your journey. Little did I know that in this journey of life, this journey has been pre-ordered by God. And there's someone assigned to you in, the, in this journey. Someone you are given to. Until when I joined the vigilant, Baba was treating Abraham. And this teaching really caught my attention. I had this unrest in my spirit, so I had to go and see Baba at Keto and narrated my short story. The answer Baba gave to me, even contrary to what I've been thinking. I was thinking Baba will oppose, like, uh, you want to start disobeying your parents, but he asked me, said, what are you waiting for? And I exclaimed, like, ah, is that you leave your parents out? He said, you told me, God told you. Now, as you are said, Go back to God. If God will not make a way, that belongs to history now. Even my brother left Celestia, he was attacked from the dream and uh, I had to take water from the vigil. I went to see Baba again. Baba said, pray like this. You know, my brother took the water. I made sure he took all the water. And uh, after my brother got full, my brother said, ah, I even want to know that your Baba said. I took him to K2. Baba prayed for us and blessed us. You know, lastly, my mom. You know, there was a time I called Baba and Baba would ask, Shara mom, Yili. like, is your mom healthy? I said, ah. Baba, she's okay, but you can help us pray for her. Sometimes again, I called Baba. The next thing Baba would say is, Shara Mom Yili. And I was like, ah, Baba, she's okay, but we can help us pray for her. When the incident will happen, it was years later, you know, my mom has been trying to reach me and she couldn't reach me because of one reason or the other. So, when I later spoke with my mom, my mom called me and said, Baba, 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 ah, well, it's like, he has been living with me to know the battles, the obstacles, the problems I've been facing. So immediately he prayed for me like a heavy load was lifted up my neck. And uh, since that day, like Baba has been lying beside me. I said, wow. Because my mom, I gave her five secrets of sure victory. So she had Baba's contact, even though she is a non celestial I will tell you that uh, in the journey of life, it has been preordered by God. And there's someone you are giving to in the journey. Going to the prayers of God with Baba is the surest thing. Is the shortest and shortest way to God. And I want to seize this opportunity to congratulate Baba on this golden jubilee. Baba, the Lord has begun a good work in you. We uphold you to the end. Thank you so much. Hallelujah.